Hi everybody, I'm the Gerg of the Gerg Gaming. I'm trying to get this to lower. This game is really loud. They have no audio settings to change stuff, so I can't can't guarantee you're going to be able to hear me. But this is Lakeview Cabin. Um, it is a weird, it's a weird little game. Um, it has a lot to do with uh, with four different types of the of horror movies. Actually, uh, I think the first one is uh, like a Friday the Thirteenth. The second one is. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the third one is Halloween, and the fourth one is a weird mix of almost like, um, a try The Thing and Alien is the best way to describe it. And we're going to try, um, the first one today, which is by 13. I haven't played this. I'm going to be terrible at it. I'm going to do 15 minutes of probably dying constantly, so don't... Go back, uh, if you, get, if you can change between characters. So I can be the bum outside. Um, it has a dark tone. I'll give you an idea. So, like that. And I can't go in there. Normally, if you hit B, you can go in or you can look. Um, the sewers scream at me is what that says. And you can switch back and forth between usually four characters. And as you can see, you can definitely tell that's Friday the 13th, which is like View Cabin 3. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is Lakeview Cabin 4, you can tell that. You can tell that's Halloween, which is Lakeview Cabin 5, and Lakeview Cabin 6 is, like I said, the... It almost looks like Scream, but it's Alien, because you play as Ripley and a couple of the other people that are on board. <coughs> so, yeah. And you can go into the bathroom. It will be juvenile for like 10 seconds, because this is dumb. <laughs> If you hear background sounds, um, I'm actually hanging out with my father, uh, Medicator 6. So it's his fault. It's his fault. <clears throat> Sorry, I, got, I, I also have. I think I'm trying to get a cold. All right, guys. Um, you can pick up stuff throughout the throughout the environment and all that shit, but we're not even gonna worry about that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do Lakeview Cabin Part Three. No, I'm not gonna beat this. I'm not gonna beat this level. I'm not gonna continue to try to play this until I beat this level. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what you have to do in this game. So, just heads up. I've seen a lot of people play this. It gets a little crazy to beat. So I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to beat it, but I am going to play through all four different stages, even if I beat them or not. So, look at the cabin. It's a sexy little cabin. You can do certain things, like you can pick up stuff, like there's that, you can throw it, and stuff comes out of it. And it does not tell you what things are, so you kind of have to guess. There's a package that has, that's actually beer. I have a puppy. I have a puppy. Come here, buddy. You stay in here. Yeah, you stay in here. Don't give me shit. Okay, flashlight. Of course. There's a lantern. Uh, lanterns are probably good to have around. Wood chipper. Here is a rake, which usually gets in the way and makes you trip. I've seen that shit happen. So we're going to put it over here. Okay, like that. Just to give you an idea. You can get naked, by the way. Um, this is a zip line, and it goes to one of the cabins, so you can escape quicker. Um, this... I don't know what the hell that was. Um, there is... Oh, okay, so I gotta show you this. I have to be juvenile. I can't, I can't help with this one. I don't know what that was. Um... How the hell did she get out there? Whoa! I have never seen that happen before. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Uh, but anyway, there's a key up here that we gotta get. And in order to get the key, you have to basically do this. Ah, uh, that's right. Can I 
Alright, get him. Yep. Okay, you can hide. Um, every night, things change. I gotta go back to here. Okay, so boom. We gotta get this guy naked. It's a horror movie. So, of course, sex has to happen. This is the only part I knew about this. I don't know about the rest of this game. I just knew that I just knew these people had to have sex to knock the key off of a thing, and I think that's where I get use the key back there. If I'm right, could be wrong. I just know that that happens. Enjoy the sex scene, everyone. Do I stop him? By the way, every time you play this game, it changes. So if you die and you come back, things are not going to be the same. Some stuff will be boarded up, some stuff won't. Like you kind of have to, you kind of have to get used to the game and the environment, because a lot of things changes. I know that I can go up here, and then I can go here. You just heard the scanner. <laughs> okay, so I know I gotta take this and this. I think I have to do this, right? Yeah. And that's how you get the board across there so you can go over here. Now, uh, or not do that because I just broke the guy's leg. Okay, first screw up. As this happened. I don't know why that lady's in the water and why I can't get her out. I can't do anything. I can't get her out at all. So, a really good thing to do is to go over here and get this. Oh, there was a guy. He just popped up in the front of the screen if you saw him there. That's the guy who's trying to kill me, guys. The thing to do is take this back. Get it away from the killer. I should take the little bike thing. That's what I should do. It'll help me. This will help me move at least that way a little bit quicker. But I do it. You can run over him with the bike, by the way. Um, just to let you know, that does work. That is a good actual like idea to do. Um, he takes a lot of damage whenever you hit him with the bike. Okay, so we need to go get this thing really quick. There's a pack of matches. Look at this. Before he comes back. And now, pretty well much, it's his playground. Like, he can come out anytime. Uh, I think they give you one night. I broke that guy's leg off. I think they give you one night before they start attacking and murdering you. Could be wrong about that. <laughs> so, um, let's drop this off up here with the rest of these guys. I totally hurt this guy. <laughs> he is so badly hurt. Let's take that. Ah, I broke this guy's poor leg. Whoa. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's how you turn the lights on and off, by the way. You can chill there. Alright, so there's that. <clears throat> we'll go here. I don't know what's in this room. I 
There is a shotgun. Okay, so I have a shotgun. And now I just gotta find a bullet. Which, that might be it right there. What is that? That's better. Hide in the beds, I didn't know that. You can look out any door, by the way. Let's take this back with us. Can't do anything there. I have got to find this bullet. What's this? I think that's the bullet right there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I got a bullet now. Okay. I think it gives me one night, so I think we're pretty, I think that's the, I think that's my night that I get to not, you know, be killed. How did she fall off? And there we go. The rake will trip you every time, by the way. And this poor girl is bleeding to death, thanks to me. Okay. Best thing to do first is to get... Okay, this guy's gonna come with me. He's gonna go open the door. Uh, that op open that chest thing or whatever it was that was blocking the way. If it's not already broken, because I think the killer breaks it. <coughs> so I got a shotgun, which is what I need. Um, I have watched... I have watched Laugh and play this. Um... If you don't know who Laughing is, you need to check out his channel. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to break that guy's leg, too. I'm going to put some clothes here. Probably a good idea. What's this? Is that? Oh, no, 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 people. Okay, so the dude without the legs got the shotgun, which is a really good idea. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we're going to go get some fuel. I know the fuel is over this way. There should be things that pop up every once in a while letting you know that he's here. Okay, so there's the fuel. I can turn that off if I want to, but I'm not going to. Pretty sure that's what makes it. Ah, there we go. There's the eye. Okay, so that's a sign. I'm going to leave this here for this guy to pick up. And by the way, if you do that, that is oil that just dropped. And that's how we are going to get the stuff going crazy. So, I'm going to make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, let's just change the clothes. Now, i got matches. Now, what's going to happen is we are going to set up a way to get this guy. Before it gets dark. Start this at the first. Where's that? Okay, he has 
this guy. You guys are hearing my phone going crazy. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do, starting about this one total pole, let's get past this. So about right here. I have to move her back. Do that. Okay. What we need to do is each person needs to have a weapon. Except for her. She's going to match. She's going to start. She's going to strike the match. Okay. Okay, so who's first? Right, so he's next. Okay, well, I just set off one of my traps. It's not going to work now. So, you're welcome. Shit. Okay, well, what's going to have to happen... Is now I'm going to have to beat him to death. Which is very hard to do, by the way. That's awesome. I don't know what I just did there. Okay, we're going to start out with her, with whatever I have, because I don't know what I have. I could have thrown that at him, and I just threw it in the wall. Found sunglasses. I found a bong, which makes me quicker, by the way. Okay, my lady is incredibly stoned right now. Uh oh, the killer's here.
There's the killer, everybody. Kill him? Oh man, that's terrible. Shit. dicking around. He murdered every one of my other people. There's nobody left. Oh, uh, okay, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here because it's like 24 minutes. So, um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Lake Cabin, uh, Lakeview Cabin Part Three. Um, I did a terrible job, and I should have checked the other people out instead of hunting after that person. But that's what you get. So, um, I guess we'll see each other again soon. It starts all over again. It's terrible. <laughs>